Good morning, everyone. If you can't tell today, Porter is 10 months old. He's 10 months old today, so we are two months away from him turning one. I'm already starting to plan his birthday party, and I've got his photo shoot for his one-year-old cake smash pictures already booked. So September is going to be here sooner than we know it. And so we did a photo shoot this morning. Porter was kind of grumpy. He's been kind of grumpy today. I don't know kind of what his problem is. Um, he did wake up twice last night. So maybe, I mean, he wakes up twice every night though. So anyway, I'll input those pictures here from the photo shoot. I managed to get good pictures even though Porter was grumpy. So I did get good pictures, but it has been a little stressful this morning. Porter tries and gets into all the trash cans now. And so I have to put all the trash cans up high, otherwise he tips them over and gets into them. He was um, chewing on a Q-tip this morning, not good. And then Gray, I turn around and he's got lip gloss all over his face because he is now obsessed with my lip gloss and putting it all over his face um so yeah i was dealing with that and of course he was running away from me when i was trying to get it off his face so i finally got it off his face and then every time i turn around he's got his toothbrush and his toothpaste and he's pouring gobs of toothpaste onto his toothbrush and so i'm trying to get that away from him Oh my gosh, these kids are driving me crazy. And then of course, another thing, just pile on top of that, Anthony keeps stealing my vlogging camera. Anthony is a great gift giver. He gives me awesome gifts. But the problem with Anthony's gifts is he ends up taking them over. For example, for my birthday, he got me a huge water bottle, which is one of the things I was asking for because I get so thirsty at night and I go through water so fast. He got me a big water bottle and then he started stealing my water bottle and using it for work. And so then every night when I go to drink water, it's empty because he drank it all. So then I just ended up using a different water bottle that's not as big and not the one he gave me. And so now he has taken over that water bottle for himself. Another instance is this camera. I vlogged a lot on my cell phone and it was taking up all the space in my phone and so I complained about it and so Anthony for Christmas last year got me a new vlogging camera and it was awesome. Well he started this job at Bath and Body Works and it, it uh, requires him to take pictures of items that he approves. So then he started taking my camera because it takes high quality photos and uh, up using that and then instead of bringing the camera back down when he was done using it, he takes it and leaves it up in his work office and so then when I want to vlog like now I can't get to it because he's in a meeting and I can't come in the room so then I'm forced to vlog on my camera or on the camera on my phone instead of the, my actual vlogging camera and so now my vlogs are like not as high quality <sighs> So that's on top of it. So it's just kind of been a stressful morning. I think it's just kind of carried over from yesterday. I really didn't get a second to myself. Um, it was just a lot of running around. I'm trying to work out now, um, just to try to get like a more toned body. So I had that in and so I didn't really get to hang out or like chill out. And then um, my sister Allison and I are planning this clue party this weekend and so that took me all the way up until bedtime so it was a busy day yesterday and today's gonna be a busy day today too we had the photo shoot we have a park play day in a couple minutes that we're gonna go to and then gray has his first dentist appointment today so we are gonna go to the dentist and see how his teeth look so i'll vlog here and there and keep you guys updated but it's been a little bit of a stressful morning oh. hey please. We're at the park. You gonna swing? Yeah. We're having fun. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey. 
monkey jumped on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, Put those monkeys back to bed. Put those monkeys back to bed. Grayson, Grayson, where are we going to go today? The, uh, the dentist. Are we going to go to the dentist? What are they going to do? They're going to brush your teeth. Are they going to brush your teeth and count them? <laughs> count how many teeth you have? Mm -hmm. Are you so excited? So we are about to go to Grayson's first ever dentist appointment. Um, I know I should have taken to the dentist a long time ago. He's well over three years old, but with the pandemic and everything happening, we kind of put that off and then Anthony changed jobs. So then we had a new dental insurance. So I had to wait to figure out what the new dental insurance was to make sure we could find a place that takes it. So that's why we're going so late. Um, I'm not sure how he's gonna do. He did better for the doctor than what I thought, so I'm worried he's not gonna do so well for the dentist, but maybe he'll prove me wrong. We'll see. We're going to a pediatric dentist, so like they're used to kids and they're used to kids not cooperating. So that's why I specifically chose one. So we will see also in the mail today, like I said, I was expecting it. I got Grayson's preschool form. So we have to submit a whole buttload of information. And then they also sent us, so we're gonna have a parent night to learn about the preschool. And then we're gonna have an open house where we can take Gray. And they said that he can have a backpack. So we're gonna have to go back to school shopping. So it's gonna be so fun. Um, so lots of things going on today, but let's go to the dentist. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're back from the dentist, where it's actually much later in the day, and we are doing bath time. Can you guys say hi? Say hi! We went to a very muddy park this morning and so we definitely needed bath night. So I just wanted to talk about how the dentist went. Grayson did really, really well. We um, showed up and it's really cute. They're like underwater sea creature theme. So there was like murals of sea creatures all over which Gray loved looking at. They took a picture of him for his first dentist visit. Of course he was cheesing, so funny. But they got us all registered and then took him back to a room. And it was cool, they had a TV playing Cat in the Hat at the top so he could watch that and the um, dental hygienist was very nice and obviously they had done this very like many times before because they were like this is how we're gonna do it and they let, showed Grayson all the toys and they like let him feel it and told him exactly what they were gonna do and then um, they had me hold him and then they just laid his head in the hygienist's lap and then she was able to do the cleaning. Um, he did really well. He had problems sometimes where he wouldn't open his mouth when he was supposed to. And of course, like feeling the brush on his teeth kind of felt weird. I mean, that would feel weird to anyone. I, I don't even like getting it done. So um, he kind of freaked out about that, but like he didn't scream. They said that they've had a lot of vocal kids today and he didn't scream, so that was really good. And um, they spoiled him with prizes. He got a lollipop, he got two stickers, he got a toy, he got a toothbrush. Like, I think they're just trying to build it like, the dentist is fun, don't be scared of the dentist. So he got Lots of toys, lots of prizes. Um, they gave him a fluoride treatment. He got to pick the, the flavor of the fluoride, the flavor of the, the toothpaste, like the flavor of the um, dental floss. Like there was lots of choices. So he liked all that and it was actually really fast. It only lasted like a half hour. They asked me if I had any concerns and the only concern I really had was he still sucks his fingers from time to time when he's tired and anxious. And so I was wondering if that was having an effect on like his jaw or his teeth. So they looked at it and they said, no, there's really no effect right now, but I should try to curb it. They said, um, instead of doing negative reinforcement, 
reinforcements, I should be doing positive reinforcements. So instead of every time he sucks his finger, me saying, no, don't do that, praise him when he's not sucking his fingers, and then that usually helps. They said if worse comes to worse, they do have like paint that they can paint on the nails, and so it makes it really gross to eat. So I can always try that, but um, right now it's not a concern. They said he had no cavities, so no concerns about that. Um, and something interesting, they asked if he took a vitamin. I said, yeah, he takes like the bare gummy vitamins. And they said, actually, if I could get him over to the chalk vitamins, the Flintstone chalk vitamins, those are better. Um, just because they're better on the teeth, which I had no idea. So once we finish the gummy vitamins, we will move over to the Flintstone ones. I had no idea. So if you didn't know, here he is. The Flintstone chalk vitamins are the way to go. So yeah, it was great. And um, it was a good appointment. And then I made him an appointment for January for his next cleaning. So all in all, it was really good. I'm glad we got it over with. I have a dentist appointment coming up in about a week and a half. I'm sure I will have cavities. I always have cavities. And it's been like two years since I've gone just because of COVID and I was pregnant and too many things. So we'll see how I do. But anyway, that's kind of it for this vlog. I guess it was a lot of me talking, so sorry about that. But thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Say bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Porter's 10 months old. He's a big boy. And Grayson, how old are you? Three. Three. Something I was just thinking about. We went to the park and there was a little boy and he stopped Grayson and he was like, how old are you? And he kept asking, how old are you? And Gray was just like staring at him and then he was just like, hi. And I was like, no, Gray, you're supposed to say I'm three. <laughs> so we're still working on the social interaction. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zip. Yeah, zip. Z-I-P. Gray loves spelling words with his bath foam letters. <gasps>